Did you feel that great disturbance in the force a little while ago as millions of Netflix illegal users silently cried out in terror? A little while ago, Netflix announced that they were going to be cracking down on the practice of sharing passwords to Netflix. Essentially, listen, everybody's done it, right? You don't have Netflix yourself, but your buddy's got it. Maybe it's your sister, maybe it's your boyfriend, whatever, and you just get their password and use it for free. Now, Netflix said, hey, you're basically stealing our stuff. It's not unlike this. I've got this beautiful hot toy here of Henry Cavill, uh, Superman right here, right? I think this costs, uh, I think, uh, what, it? Sideshow sells us for about probably $250, $300, right? Around there. Now imagine that you had a machine at home that you could bring any item home and it would just duplicate it, right? Just duplicate it. So you buy this Superman Henry Cavill off of them for 250 bucks, but then you take it home and put it through the duplication machine and you give out 20 of them to your friends for free. You're crazy if you don't think that Sideshow Collectibles isn't going to crack down and sue your ass. Of course they are, because you're taking away their business. You're stealing from them, essentially. And that's what Netflix password sharing is. And again, no judgment. We've all done it. Everybody's done it to one point. But Netflix said they were going to crack down. Now, a lot of people then said, well, then this is the end of Netflix. I'm not going to watch Netflix. Well, you were stealing it in the first place. Why does Netflix care if you don't watch it anymore? You were literally taking it from them for free. But a lot of people still predicted that this would be a bad move for Netflix, that this would cause harm to Netflix. Well, guess what? <clears throat> the opposite is true. Netflix has just enjoyed their highest sign-up period in years for new people signing up. And a big chunk of those new people are signing up using their family add-on sort of plans. Now, this comes to us from the folks over at Variety. Netflix's password crackdown drives U.S. signups to highest levels in at least four years. Now, the article says this. At least initially, Netflix's broad password crackdown appears to be producing the streamer's desired results in converting freeloaders into paying customers in the U.S., according to early data from research company Antenna. On May 23rd, Netflix began notifying U.S. customers that users on their accounts who live outside of their households would need to be added as a quote-unquote extra member or get their own subscriptions. Since then, Netflix has had uh, the four single largest days of user signups since January of 2019 when Antenna first began tracking the metric. And take a look at this chart here that's a little bit further down. Look at that peak point. At the end, on the far right, that is when the new policy on password sharing began. And listen, it's actually not a bad deal. A standard Netflix account runs you about 16 bucks, 15, 16 bucks, right? For a standard Netflix account. Well, you can add on, let's say theoretically, because he wouldn't do this, but let's say Ray was using my Netflix, right? And now, <laughs> theoretically, he can now sign up and I can add him on my account and he gets full use of a full, normal, standard Netflix package, but for half the price. I can add him on for $7.99, which is basically half the price for a basic for a standard membership anyway, and there's no limitations. I mean, he gets to use it like a regular standard kind of thing. Same thing with premium. If you are a premium Netflix subscriber, and I believe that's about $20 a month, you also can just add somebody onto your account for $7.99. So it's actually presenting a pretty good deal for people, and the results seem to be working. Jonathan, I don't know if you remember this, but it wasn't that long ago that Netflix lost, what did we say, like $40 billion in a day? It was a lot. It, I mean, their stock was like 600 some, 600 650 and it dropped all the way to like under 300 yeah, they Imagine lost like half buying a company at that value. High thinking, oh, it's only going to go up, and you've lost most of your money. Now I only... remember, I remember when that happened, yeah. and that day dropped. I remember we were doing our show, and you said, "I'm about to buy me some Netflix stock," <laughs> because look what's happened. Their stock is now at their highest peak, their highest point. It was higher than it was before it dropped off, and this new password crackdown thing, despite the fact that a lot of people. We're speculating this is going to ruin Netflix. Well, guess what? It seems to have worked out for them in spades. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, 
Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking Looking for extra savings this year? Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just $15 a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Were you one of those people? Hey, a lot of people were that thought this was a terrible move for Netflix. Maybe you were one of the few people that thought this was going to work out really, really well for them. I'm curious to know, did this move affect you? Did you have people that were using your password? Maybe you were using somebody else's. Did they start using their new offer of just signing new people onto your own account? Did you do that? Maybe yes, maybe no. Whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. Make sure you click the thumbs up button on it and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget that we do a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast. Go and subscribe to it today on your favorite podcasting app of choice.